Chair, I now call Jane Hunt. Thank you very much, Mr Chairman. Um, it is a delight to speak in this debate, and I thank my uh, honourable friend for Meriden, a uh, member for Meriden, uh, for bringing this forward. Um, I had a quite long speech, so I'm going to cut it down to just a few pertinent points, I think, and I ought to declare that I'm still a borough councillor with Chalmer Borough Council. So I'm going to talk about some of the good points and some of the bad points of things uh, that are happening in our area uh, to do with fly tipping. First of all, um, I want to focus on farmers. Farmers are blighted uh, by fly tipping in my area, particularly on the margins of the constituency and the county. I, I'm on the edge of, a, of the county area. So Charlie Road in Shepshed, for example, frequent fly tipping, which causes uh, farmers uh, great distress and not a lot of, uh, uh, rather a lot of uh, expenditure. Betty Hens's Lane in Mount Sorrel, also frequently blighted. Um, and lorry loads, I think um, um, the member for Meriden re referred to them as uh, tipper trucks. Um, that often happens throughout Charmwood, both in my constituency and Ed Argus' constituency of Charmwood. So th farmers having to therefore resort to drastic measures to deter fly tippers, such as blockading gates, field entrances with machinery and other items, and installing lights and security cameras, all at their own expense. And that is something I'd like to be able to look at with the Minister, please. However, there is good news. So with Charmer Borough Council, we've been running a campaign, and I was the lead member for four years, uh, called Don't Look Around, for example. And so uh, we did all sorts of things. We had posters. Dare I say, am I going to be the first member in Hansard to say the word pooing? Dogs were pooing on these posters uh, to show that uh, you really could go and pick it up for yourself and take it away yourself. And we had uh, flags in uh, Sileby football pitch. 38 flags are identifying pieces of dog poo across a, a, a pitch that kids were playing on every weekend, which was terrible. Um, but also they do wonderful things um, to do with uh, littering, fly tipping and dog mess. And I absolutely uh, take my hat off to the street management team at Charmwood Borough Council who work very hard indeed. They also hold a rubbish amnesty day um, every year at the end of uh, the student year. So as the students leave, uh, there is a rubbish truck that comes round and there's an amnesty and takes the rubbish away, which is, which is great. doesn't happen in all cases, but happens in a greater majority. And they also give out, at the beginning of the uh, year at Freshers, advice on what to do with rubbish because because people come from different parts of the country and deal with rubbish in different ways. So there are those kinds of things. But um, in terms of farmers, I, I am most concerned about. It also has to be said that people, aliens don't come down and land fly-tipping rubbish on our country. And therefore, I would ask, please, that everybody deals with their own rubbish as they possibly can. And therefore... Um, that way we wouldn't have fly tipping across the country and we wouldn't have littering or indeed dog mess. Um, there is a, a definite point uh, that was made earlier on um, about um, waste licences and actually making sure that your carrier does in fact have a waste licence and is not dumping it elsewhere. So I would also like to suggest that uh, littering from moving vehicles, including from the backs of open trucks, should be heavily fined to deter detritus in our towns and on the highways. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to now call 